Although lawmakers had the option to end this year's legislative session next Thursday, lawmakers I spoke to say they were willing and they are still hopeful things will wrap up by the end of this evening. In the Indiana House, thunderous applause after lawmakers revived a provision in House Bill 1004 that died in the Senate. That provision ensures state retirees will get a 13th check this year. The House also passed a student absenteeism bill that would require schools to report to a prosecutor if a K-6 through student is chronically truant. While House Republicans say the bill put safeguards in place to address any attendance concerns long before a prosecutor becomes involved, some House Democrats are argued the bill puts a band-aid on a much larger issue. The bill passed 92 to 6. On the Senate side, a bill passed that expands how many counties can be reimbursed for misdemeanor attorney costs. Lawmakers also passed a religious instruction bill, but removed a provision that would have allowed schools to hire chaplains as counselors. The amended bill requires schools to comply with a parent's request if they wish for their student to receive off-site religious instruction during school hours. However, However, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say the bill could take away a school's ability to decide whether to work with an outside religious organization. They would have to accommodate release for any fringe religious group, any fringe religious program. So I agree with the school board association. We need to remain focused on mastery of academic standards. Who should have the say? over the community partnerships that are happening in our schools. And as a former principal, I would say it should be the principal and the local governing body. The bill passed 32 to 16. As for the end of session, we're told that could be any time between 6 p.m. until 1 a.m. Obviously, lawmakers are hoping it doesn't go that long, but we will be here all evening to bring you the latest. We're also anticipating the respective caucuses will hold media briefings once session officially ends. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.